हेलो क्लास सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल आई एम मोनिका बजाज यू आर साइंस टीचर एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट योर चैप्टर नंबर नाइन मूवमेंट इन एनिमल्स लोकोमोशन इन एनिमल्स मूवमेंट इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ऑल लिविंग बींग्स ऑल लिविंग बींग्स मूव नेचुरली द मूवमेंट मे अकर इन होल बॉडी ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म और एनी इन सर्टेन पार्ट ऑफ इट The movement of an organism bodily from one place to another is called locomotion. Locomotion involves not the whole body but only a particular body part is used for locomotion. Look at the following table to understand the locomotion in different living organism. See this table. Animals body parts used in locomotion term used for locomotion. Humans body part used in locomotor legs term used for locomotion walk same as cows legs walk fish tail fins swim birds wings fly locomotion helps animals to move from an unfavorable environment to a favorable environment to find their food and water to protect themselves from their enemies to find their partners mates for reproduction to find suitable place for laying eggs or rearing their young ones vertebrates and invertebrates the body structure of an animal determines the kind of movement they exhibit we know that our backbone helps and stand upright and enable us to move Based on the presence and absence of the backbone vertebral column animals are divided into two groups vertebrates and invertebrates vertebrates animals that have backbone are called vertebrates human beings fish frog horse birds lizard etc are vertebrates invertebrates animals that do not have a backbone are called invertebrates earthworms snail cockroach etc are invertebrates the movement of vertebrates is different from that of invertebrates let us learn about the movement of some animals to understand various kinds of locomotion movement in earthworm earthworm do not have bones they move by the action of two groups of muscles and bristle like structure called setae one group of circular muscles surrounds the earthworm like a set of rings The other group of the longitudinal muscles run along the length of the body. The setae act as an anchor to grip the surface the earthworm moves on. See this picture. To move forward, the earthworm first grips the surface at the posterior tail end. The circular muscles contract and the body becomes longer and narrower. Now the earthworm grips the surface at the anterior end and the loosens the posterior end. the lengthwise muscles contract the body gets thicker shorter and moves forward the action of these muscles groups causes a wave like motion that help the earthworm move through the soil movement in snail the snail has a rounded thick structure it carries on its back it is called the shell and it is the outer skeleton of the snail but it is not made up of bones it is made up of calcium carbonate the shell is a single unit and does not help in moving from place to place see this picture of snail it has to be dragged along the snail can hide inside the shell to protect themselves from heat and enemies the way motion of the foot can be seen is through a series of rippling waves of contraction pass over the foot and force it forwards The rest of the body enclosed in the shell is dragged along. The foot produces a slimy substance called mucus. The snail actually crawls on the layer of the mucus. Snail also have a pair of tentacles that bear eyes at the tip. Movement in cockroaches. Cockroach also has a hard outer skeleton like snail. it shows locomotion with the help of three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings let's see an extra mile cockroach crabs etc have exoskeletons the muscles of the legs help the cockroach in walking and the braced muscles in flying movement in fish fish have
have a spindle shaped streamlined body. This shape of body helps it to move in water. Fish uses their muscular tail and fins for swimming. The air filled swim bladders make the body buoyant. During swimming, the front part of the body and the tail part curve in opposite directions. This makes a jerk and pushes the body forward. A series of such jerks made the fish swim ahead. The paired and unpaired fins help to keep the balance of the body and to keep direction. Movement in snake Snakes have a large number of vertebrae. They have a large number of slender body muscles that interconnect the adjoining vertebrae, ribs and skin. Snakes move by making loops. These loops give a forward thrust against the surface and the snake crawl or sliders in the forward direction. See this picture. Now let's see an extra mile. Some snakes swim in water. Movement in birds. Birds have two kinds of locomotion. Birds can walk in any surface with their legs. The bones of the hind limbs are fit for walking and perching. Ducks and swans can also swim in water. Birds fly in the air by spreading their wings. They use their chest muscles to flap their wings. The body of birds is streamlined and suitable for flying. Their bones are hollow and light in weight. The bony part of the forelimbs are modified as wings. Mosquitoes and house flies fly with the help of wings attached to their body. See this picture. Next is structure of human body. A human body is made up of billions of cells which combine to form tissue. A group of different tissue working together to perform a specific function makes up an organ. And a group of organ that works together to perform a life functions make up a systematic known as organ system. Thus, a human body is organized as follows. Cells tissues together made organ, then organ system and organ system make a human body. Human body is made up of several organ systems, each one performing a particular function the major system with their organs and functions are given in the table. See this table. Body system, main organs, functions. Nervous system, main organs, brain, spinal cord and nerves. Functions, says what is going around you. Coordinate what you need to do and transmit message to different parts of the body telling them what to do. Body system, skeleton system, bones, function, hard joint framework that supports and protect the body. Muscles are connected to parts of the skeleton enabling the body to move. Muscular system, main organ, female, ovaries, oviduct, uterus and vagina. Function. Muscles contract to move parts of the body. Reproductive system. Main organs involve male, testes, sperm tube, uthra and penis. Function. Produces offspring. Circulatory system. Main organs involve heart, blood vessels and blood. Function. Delivers food and oxygen to the body cells and carries carbon dioxide and waste products away from the body cells. Digestive system. Main organs involve mouth, esophagus, food pipe, stomach, small intestine and large intestine. Function. Digest food so that it can pass into the blood. Next is respiratory system. Nose, windpipe and lungs. Function. Transfer oxygen into the blood and gets rid of carbon dioxide and water vapor from the blood. Last one is excretory system. Main organs involve kidneys, ureter, bladder, urethra and skin. Function. 
gets rid of waste products from the body. Skeleton system and movement in humans. The framework of bones and cartilages which supports the body of an animal or humans is called its skeleton system. The skeleton system of a human body is made up of 206 bones and cartilages. Bones are hard, cartilages are soft and elastic. Ribs, breast bone, limbs, shoulder bone, hip or pelvic bone are example of skeleton system. See this skeleton system picture. Now let's see an extra mile. The largest bone in the body is the thigh bone, femur. Function of the skeleton system. The skeleton system provides support and gives shape to the body. It protects the soft and delicate vital organs of the body. For example, the skull protects the brain. The ribs protect the lungs and the heart. It plays a very important role in the movement of the body. Muscles are attached to the bones. Bones and muscles work together to move all parts of the body. It forms framework of the body. It helps to protect and keep the delicate organs of the body in their proper position. For example, the bony cage made by breast bone, ribs and the backbone protect hearts and lungs. It produces blood cells and stores certain materials. Various organs of skeleton system. First is the skull. The skull has two main parts. First one is cranium. The cranium provides a cover and protection to the brain. The bones of the cranium are flat and are held firmly in a zipper-like manner. Second one is facial bones. The facial bone consists of upper and lower jaw and a few other bones. The lower jaw is movable. The movement of this jaw enables us to eat, talk and sink. The skull also included a pair of the eye sockets. See this picture of skull. Next one is the backbone. There is a series of bones down the center of our back which support the weight and structure of our body. This is the backbone. The backbone is also known as the vertebral column or the spine. It is not a simple bone but is made up of 33 small bones called vertebrae. The backbone though called a bone is really a flexible structure made up of 26 bones. As a baby, we have 33 vertebrae, but lower 9 bones fuse to form 2 bones. The backbone serves several important functions. It allows humans to stand upright and maintain their balance. It helps to support the head and arms and provides attachment for many muscles. The ribs and a few organs. It protects the spinal nerve. Next one is ribs. Ribs are thin, flat, curved bones that form a protective cage around the organs like heart and lungs in our chest region. This is called the rib cage. There are 12 ribs consisting of 24 bones arranged in 12 pairs. The ribs are joined to the backbone at the back. The ribs can be felt if we run our fingers across our chest. Next one is the chest bones. The chest bones form a cone shaped bony cage. The elliptical bones of the cage are called ribs. 12 pairs of ribs curve around the slides. Ribs are attached to the sides of each vertebral at the back. 10 pairs of these ribs are attached to the breast bone at the front with the help of cartilage. Two ribs in the front are free. The chest bones are protect lungs and heart. See this picture. Ribs, chest bone, ribs. Next one is limbs. Hand and legs. Human have two pairs of limbs. One pair of four limbs or upper limbs, arms. And the other part of the hind limbs or lower limbs, legs. Four limbs and hind limbs. Now let's see an extra mile. 
Giraffe, which has a long neck, has only seven bones in its neck, as in humans. Next one is the shoulder bones. The shoulder bone is formed by the collar bone and the shoulder blade. It connects the upper part of the chest and bones of the arm. The hip or pelvic bones. The hip bone is formed by the fusion of three bones. The hip bones together made with the hip and the tail part of the backbone form a large bony bowl called pelvis. See this picture. Now movement of bones. Bones cannot move by themselves. The muscles attached to bones make them move at joints. The bones act as levers and join as fulcrum. Contraction and relaxation of muscles make the bone move up and down. See this picture of biceps contracted, triceps relaxed. Next picture biceps relaxed and triceps contracted. Working of biceps and triceps muscles. A. Contraction of biceps pulls up the bones of the forearm towards the upper arm. The triceps are relaxed. In picture B, contraction of triceps pull down the bones of forearms away from the upper arm. The biceps are relaxed. Muscles work in pairs by contraction and relaxation. When one muscle of the pair contracts, the other one are relaxes. The bones provide leverage for rapid contraction and relaxation of muscles. It means bones and muscles work together. For example, the up and down movement of our arm are controlled by two groups muscles, biceps and triceps. When we raise our arm, the biceps contract. They become shorter and fatter and pull the arm up. When we lower the arm, the triceps contract and the biceps relax. It means Triceps becomes shorter and broader and pull the arm down. Now, let's see an activity. Aim to observe the movement of different parts of the body as mentioned in the table. Procedure. Move each of the body part and note down your observation in the table given. Movement of body parts. Rotation. Complete or incomplete. Lift up or bend, joint or fixed, lifting of forearm, movement of arm, movement of leg, hand, movement of thumb. Observation and conclusion. The different parts of the body show different types of movement due to different types of joints found in them. Next is joints and movements. The joints in the body are the places where two bones are joined together. The joints are strong enough to withstand jerks. The end of the bones are covered with soft cartilage. It acts as a shock absorber and reduces friction between the bones. The bones are held together at the joints by strong stretchy bands called ligaments. There are many joints in the body. They are of three types. Depending on the types of movement, they allow immovable, slightly movable and freely movable. Immovable joint. Bones at the fixed joint lie against each other and age fused. Fixed joints do not allow the movement of bones. Joints that attach ribs to the sternum and those found in the skull are all immovable joints. Partially movable joints. These joints allow only limited movements. Such joints are found in the vertebral column. Now next one is freely movable joints. A joint that allow wide range of movements of bones is called a movable joint. These joints are held together by strong bands of connective tissues called ligaments. They are found at the knees, elbows, wrist, ankles, neck, shoulders and hips. There are different kinds of movable joints. 
First one is ball and socket joint. The ball and socket joint is present in the hip and the shoulder joints. The end of one of the bones is round like a ball and fits into a hollow part socket in the other bone. These joints allow movement in all directions. Next one is hinge joint. This joint which allows movement only one plane and only up to 180 degree is called a hinge joint. The knee joint is a hinge joint. Next one is pivot joint. It is the joint where neck joins the head. It allows the head to move backward and forward and turn to the right and left. The head rotates over a cylindrical bone of neck. See this picture of hinge joint and a picture of pivot joint. Next is gliding joint. A gliding joint allow one bone to slide over another. This joint is found between the small bones of wrist and ankles. It allows simple movement of gliding back and forth or sideways. Next one is muscles. The muscles are attached to the bones by tough cords known as tendons. A muscle has at least one tendon at each end. On both sides of the upper arm bones, there is a pair of muscles. When one of the muscles contracts, it pulls against the bones of the arm. This action bends or straightens the elbow joint. The muscles at the joint work in pairs. One muscle makes the joint bend while other makes it strengthen. X-ray Next topic is X-ray. X-ray are the special photograph of body. X-ray are used to find out any fracture in the bone. X-ray were discovered by general physicist W.C. Ronjen in 1895. Ronjen discovered these rays accidentally while working on medicines and scientific research. See, this is a picture of X-rays. Skull X-ray, chest X-ray and hand X-ray. Now, Reader's Digest. The movement of an organism bodily from one place to another is called locomotion. The body structure of an animal determines the kind of movement they exhibit. Snails have a pair of tentacles that bear eyes at the tip. Fish have a spindle shaped streamlined body. This shape of the body helps it to move in water. A human body is made up of billions of cells which combine to form tissues. The skeleton system of human body is made up of 206 bones and cartilages. Ok class, we have done our chapter. Now it's time to take your leave. Bye bye.